Ten people were killed and four others suffered critical injuries when two tornadoes tore across the Jiangsu province, which is on the coast of China, on Tuesday. According to Chinese state media, the first tornado in Sukian City resulted in the deaths of five people, the injuries of four others, the destruction of 1,646 homes, as well as of crops and farmland. Five additional people were killed when a second tornado struck later that evening in Yoncheng City, which is located around 190 kilometers from Sukian. A day after an extremely destructive tornado struck havoc in the eastern province of Jiangsu, Chinese weather officials increased warnings about heavy rain and strong winds in many places, state media said on Wednesday. Authorities issued a warning against strong winds in coastal areas around the Yellow Sea off Jiangsu in response to the most recent occurrence in a string of deadly and damaging weather events in recent weeks. The tornado on Tuesday was brief but intense, and social media photographs from the scene showed overturned automobiles, broken power lines, and flying debris, most of which was left all over the streets of Sukian, a city in the province's north. An individual posted on the well-known social networking site, Weibo, I was at the door and witnessed the wind, solar energy device us, and trees flying in the air. I was in a state of shock for those two minutes. On Wednesday, weather alerts were also issued for the southwest Chongqing region, various locations in the southwest Guizhou, southern Hunan, eastern Anhui, and central Hubei. In the wake of relentless storms delivered by the remnants of Typhoon Haikui, China's southeast was recently battered by torrential rain, leading to widespread evacuations, landslides, and fatalities. Although they are uncommon in the Jiangsu region, tornadoes do occasionally occur there and have been blamed for several deaths in the past two years. The average yearly number of tornadoes in China over the past 50 years is believed to be less than 100, compared to the United States, where the number of tornadoes might surpass 1,000. This is despite the fact that both nations are situated in a comparable latitudinal zone of the world. Between 1961 and 2010, China experienced an average of roughly 21 tornadoes with an F1 or EF1 intensity or higher every year, compared to 495 tornadoes in the United States between 1954 and 2013. Even more infrequently occur the most powerful tornadoes in China. Between 1950 and 2010, just five EF4 tornadoes were really reported, while neither an F5 nor an EF5 tornado were recorded. However, due of the concentrated population in the coastal regions where tornadoes are most common, tornadoes can cause significant property damage and fatalities when they do strike. The general lack of preparation and the absence of facilities for tornado protection also has an impact. At least 1,772 persons lost their lives as a result of tornadoes over the 50 years beginning in 1961. Tornado forecasting and warning operations have just recently started in many provinces after a series of recent severe tornadoes, but due to their relative rarity, tornado forecasts and alerts have not been part of the operational weather forecasting needs within China. The majority of significant tornadoes, EF2 or more, in China occur in Jiangsu province in eastern China. Jiangsu had 36 of them recorded between 1961 and 2010, while Hubei, 15, Hunan, 14, Shanning, 13, Shanghai, 12, Anhui, 11, and Guangdang, 11, were the next six provinces, including an autonomous city, with more than 10 instances. Jiangsu also saw eight tornadoes of an EF3 or higher, compared to a maximum of two in other provinces. Because Jiangsu province is primarily flat, especially in the northern part of the province, and because it is situated near the eastern coast, it frequently sees powerful low-level southerly flows and the influence of strong northerly mid-latitude weather systems in the spring and the summertime in China is reportedly when tornadoes are most likely to occur. China had a number of notable tornadoes in the summer of 2016. The most important incident, which was rated EF4 on the enhanced Fujita scale, happened in the late afternoon of June 23, 2016, 
in Fuling County, Yoncheng City, in northern Jiangsu Province. On June 5, 2016, a tornado with an EF3 rating struck the northeastern portion of Hainan Island Province, close to Feng Pozhen in Wencheng City. Another weak tornado struck on July 30, 2016, directly over the Chonso Strait from Hainan Island, at Shakirajan, Xuan County, Sunjiang City of Guangdang Province. This tornado was less than two months earlier. A number of tornadoes were earlier spawned on October 4, 2015, in Shun District, Fushan City, Guangdang Province, near the outer rain bands of Typhoon Mujigi, which made landfall. EF3 was rated to one of the tornadoes. As previously mentioned, in the afternoon of June 23, 2016, a strong tornado struck Fuling Country, Yoncheng City in northern Jiangsu Province. A field damage survey revealed an EF4 intensity. It happened in a reasonably densely populated region, claimed 99 lives, and injured over 800 people. This tornado, which was the sixth of EF4 strength, the second EF4 tornado to occur in Jiangsu Province since the last one, which happened in 1979, and the first on record in China since 1950. This tornado is now the most thoroughly investigated occurrence of this kind in China. The ground investigation revealed that the center of the trunk of a tree with a 65 cm diameter had been snapped. A full-size empty container was tossed 400 to 500 meters from its initial location, while an automobile was scooped up and flung more than 50 meters. The section of the track that has damage of EF1 or higher begins at Ban Hujin, southwest of the center of Funing County, and ends at Wu Tansen, southeast of the center of Funing. The track is around 33 kilometers long. The width of the track is 3 to 4 kilometers for about half of it, and it is only 1 to 2 kilometers for the remaining portion due to EF1 plus damage. The widest spot is around 4.5 kilometers broad. Along the eastern side of the track, all EF4 damage was found. On June 5, 2016, at around 1512 LST, a tornado developed close to Feng Pozhen in Wenchang City, Hainan Province. Wenchang City is found in the northeastern corner of the island of Hainan in southern China, south of Guangdang Province, and across the Chongzhou Strait. The tornado damaged 178 homes, killed one person, injured 11 others, and impacted nine villages in two cities. It proceeded toward the west and vanished at roughly 1527 LST, leaving a 3.6 km damaged track with a roughly 200 m wide near Hushan Reservoir. A second tornado developed on July 30, 2016, in the vicinity of Shakir Ozhen, Xuan County, and Sunjiang City in Guangdang Province. The tornado is thought to have started just after 1500 LST and lasted for 7 to 15 minutes based on several witness accounts. Nearby, over a wide expanse, it developed until it vanished. The tornado was stationary in an industrial park. Photographs of the tornado reveal red colored debris clouds, which originate from the open field's red soil, and eyewitness accounts of the tornado's formation before any precipitation hit the ground. A 50 meters width for the funnel was mentioned in the report. It was unable to accurately determine this tornado's intensity because it did not strike any trees or constructed structures. No harm to people or property was done, according to the report, but the funnel of debris does indicate a substantial intensity. The Shuan Country Weather Service advised that the tornado should definitely be categorized as a dust nado because it formed before precipitation actually reached the ground. However, it would be more accurate to categorize it as a tornado, considering the existence of a storm that was growing quickly overhead. According to R. Relstein, you have no control over natural disaster. That's what's scary about it. You're helpless. That feeling of helplessness is really scary. You can suggest topics you want to see next in the comment section below. Please subscribe to Weather Collapse if you want to know more and be updated on the latest news about natural calamities or disasters happening all over the world. And don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.